In June 2007, with support from Kaumatua and Kingi Tu Heite Pototo Te Whero Whero Te Tua Whitu, 16 Wahine received their moko kauai to commemorate the passing of Te Araki Nui Dame Te Ate Rangi Kahu and to honour the succession of Kingi Tu Heitea as the new leader of the Kingi Tanga movement. Wamoko Kauai at that time was experiencing a general resurgence in Aotearoa, the practice of wearing moko kauai by Wakato Wahine was relatively rare. The moko kauai waranga held at Te Ranga Waiwai Marae in June 2007 was significant not only for the 16 wahine that received their moko kauai, but was pivotal to the resurgence and revitalisation of moko kauai within the Waikato. At the time, a small commemorative booklet was produced, capturing a glimpse of each wahine. Fourteen years later, five wahine shared their thoughts, recollections and reflections of moko kauai in the Waikato. Well, the day I came down, I stayed at Karu's down, down at um, the River Road and um, my sister came from Auckland, Maikuku, because she's my tuakana and her and Karu, my, uh, our tuakana, are the only ones I asked. <laughs> Karu said, what? Oh, yeah, go for it, Paul. I said to him, oh, you just say that. I'm the one that have to get the pain. <laughs> you know? No, he said, no, 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 you do that for us. You do that for us. And my sister, my cuckoo, her too, yeah. And I couldn't help but think, oh, yes, they're a pair of wussies. <laughs> yeah. But no, they did. They, they did support. And, and my cuckoo was there. Karu. Karu was there, but not at that time. I think he came up to the Pohiri at the pa. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, that was, that was awesome. Yeah. When Tuhei was born, uh, um, Fati, Tamati, and it was Rory, I think, Rory Edwards had come from Fatafata to Turongo to give a name to Kuroki for his Mokopuna. Um, and um, his response to them, it wasn't a yes or a no, but hey, your fellas Pananga is down here. She's from Taranaki down there. Well, you know, then that's all he needed to say. They knew they'd better go and visit. So I talked to my kui who was just visiting. Well, she was there for some reason, I don't know. Anyway, so they told her where they'd just come from. They were all excited and happy. And um, so she asked them, well, what is the name? How te ingo? Koi te ingo. And um, they said, well, mahanga. What else? And she turned around and told him, well, he's here and not And they want to know why. So, kia te aia. E he ana, no te mea ko mahanga, he ingo heke toto. Hara te rā ingo heke toto, te ingo pai mo te mokopuna o te kingi. Well, he hātu, ko wai atu. And she said, well, what did you mean te, te ingo o te matua? Tuhei, Tuhei So they had to go back to Tūroa. <laughs> and the boss knew, he knew, because they went in and, oh well, that's what she said. And so they, and he agreed, he just was happy with that. And that's why he has that name. So, um, that's a connection again. Um, and then, of course, that was the first. And then the next one is, um, you know, with, um, as I said, her father was sent down there to Parihaka, to Tautoko, the Porapiti Tanga, Tohu and Te Whiti, Tohu Kākahi and Te Whiti o Rongo Mai, and their kaupapa, and um, never to return. Um, 
Yes, so, and, uh, and um, while there, and other people, you know, other tribes, um, Tautoko, Dad, Kaupapa, Manyapoto also, so my grandmother is from Mahanga, and my koro is from Manyapoto. The two that made all the kids and all of us, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, so that's why I'm wearing this mogul. It's the history of, of um, uh, our, as in my whanau and waikato, connection to, and the kingitanga, sorry, to in with the poropititanga. Uh, uh, another thing I thought about was the, uh, my grandfather has a, his name is Te Tairawhiti, and it wasn't his name. His name, his real name is Fanafana Totorewa. And um, but when the prophets went for Tohu and Te Fiti, when I I understood initially, their trick was to go in uh, of the of the once the prisoners that had passed while they were imprisoned. Well, anyway, one of their, their group drowned trying to save somebody over there. And um, that person happened to be Manyapoto of the Manyapoto Fananga. So when they came back, that's what they just said to my koro, to kia kore ai te rae ware ware tia ane. And then, of course, um, um, what is it? Uh, they they were looking for what sort of gift can they give to the king on this? That they that's yep. they oh we'll come over and moko up your women, and um, I thought well, okay yeah I will get this done by one of them. <laughs> Uh, and it, um, and even in looking amongst the, the people, the, the, you know, Ngā Kai Tāmuko, and I thought, oh my God, I was in a mess, I have to say. I don't know anything about that. I'm scared, and I, I don't know. All I know is I just got to tell them these four green lights that I got, and then you do it, you do what you do. <laughs> This is my story, this is me, this is what I want you to show, bang. What do your mokos think of your mokokaua? Do they notice it? Or do they remember before? Um, well, only the boys and te akaurua. Yeah, only te akaurua when they were little. And actually, they don't talk to me about it. They don't ask questions. Yeah, I think that they have will form their own their own whakaro. But um, maybe later on they might ask they might be stuck somewhere and they will ask the question. Mm. But they have been listening. You know? They have been listening. So I think that they've heard some cordial from me to somebody else. You know, being there when someone else has asked me a question and hmm. Maybe also it's become normalised for them, so yes. they see you, they see other nannies. Yes, yeah, which is a good thing. It's a good thing. I, I would be, I would be over the moon if my moko puddinus have a moko. I would, you know, long as they come to the pa and can do something, whether it's cook a kai or wash the dishes or sit on the pai pai, can waiata, can karanga, any one of those things, I don't care. It's all good.